That old selfie stick of yours isn't cutting it anymore, so you might want to pick up this. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. This is a tripod selfie stick. I'm just gonna bust into it because you know what you do. You have your phone, you're out taking pictures, selfieing yourself in front of works of art or at the park, showing that good life that you live. But I tell you what, you don't need just a selfie stick. You need a tripod selfie stick because just filming yourself these days ain't good enough. What you need are those long shots, those long selfies where you gotta put your camera up on a tripod. Now this one looks pretty awesome. First of all, it's really big. It's like a lightsaber vroom, vroom, vroom. <laughs> little known fact I actually did the sound effects for the original star wars movies but it's actually pretty nice looking it's not super heavy although there's a little heft up here and that's because i believe there's a battery and a bluetooth module up there which you may or may not need the black portion here is all plastic the red portion is like an anodized aluminum i think because it actually has a little weight and while you can hold it here put your phone in there and use it as a selfie stick you can also use this as a tripod down here on the bottom we have little rubber feet down here because if I pull, look at this, this comes out and they are supported with these metal rods right there. So this whole thing splays out like a giant tripod. And what I love about this is that the legs are down here and it pushes the tripod stick up so you don't have that sticking down on a lot of the cheaper selfie sticks you have to push that up separately and sometimes you'll open it up and you'll find that it's unbalanced so that's kind of nice it actually looks pretty cool there the rubber continues from the flat edge right there all the way down there so you should get nice stability and then up here what we have is the selfie stick portion and it's a telescoping rod and i would call that about three feet in total from stem to stern and right up here this is kind of interesting because we have a nice little hinge which is pretty tight so i think a phone of different weights will not necessarily rock it and then we have a clamp here spring loaded top rubber up here rubber down here and you can see that they have a little indentation so they'll hold the phone in so you can put your phone up there but then you can also turn it so while we will get portrait photos like this you could also turn it like this for landscape but i'm going to take this standard iphone size put it in there seems to hold it in just fine and now i can put it on the deck like this and film myself what's happening pains nation peter von Panda here what kind of crazy would do that but this is pretty cool because now i could also you know push these down like this and hold it out here angle this up use it like a regular selfie stick that's for sure but i could also set it up like a tripod now i also want to show you down here what we have is this little button here because this is a little shutter button you can pull this off because this piece right here has a micro usb port right there so you could charge it up a little battery you turn this bad boy on hold that down to turn it on and then go into your phone to find that bluetooth device to connect it so when this is on you will have this which just sticks in here there's a little pin right there which will go in the micro usb port and then there's a little tooth which will retract in there so it'll snap in here and now with the press of the button i can activate the camera which in ios will be one of the volume buttons or take a video if it's in video mode start and stop it right here with my thumb which is really really nice the other cool thing about this is if i do set this up like a tripod and then back away from it i can use the remote take it with me and actually when i'm away from it use it to start the recording or take the picture so you can take great group photos if you're at the grand canyon or in front of the world's largest ball of twine whatever so if you're looking for a selfie stick which is pretty cool looking has a lot of nice features i'm definitely going to be using this myself and it wasn't that expensive and it all compacts down into this nice little sleek little compact carrying case if you want to pick this up i'll put a link to it in the description below peter von panda out we can discover more and explore so much deeper we can live better than ever things to peter peter von panda stick of yours just isn't cutting it anymore so uh, <laughs>